Um, but we'll move into the linebackers here. And I, I think this is the real strength of the defense. And it's still the strength of the defense to me, even with Josh Uche on, on the IR. I think that's, I guess, I'll say the silver lining to this linebacker core that we don't also have to deal with him. Um, but you have Matthew Judon, Dante Hightower, um, Kyle Van Noy, and then Jawan Bentley. Um, and Matthew Judon was one of those high price free agents that they brought in this off season. And I was a little, I was a little leery of that. I wasn't sure, you know, how he would fit into this new England scheme. And, you know, if he kind of, Oh, hi Shasta dogs joining the show. For those of you that can't see, um, I just wasn't really sure if Judon was exactly a scheme fit for New England and if his numbers were a little inflated being in that Baltimore defense. And God damn, did he show up for the Patriots? Um, 11 and a half sacks on the season already. And he just looks fired up out there all the time. He wears number nine. I hate the number nine on a linebacker, but it looks good on him, I have to say. Um, but he... He's that type that can just, you really need to game plan for him or he could just really ruin your day. And it makes me feel a little bit better that it looks like we should be getting Spencer Brown back this game. Um, Feliciano started practicing again. Um, So maybe we kind of see our offensive line healthy again in the way we intend it to be. Um, But even with that, I feel better with Spencer Brown in the lineup. But, I mean, he's also still a rookie. Um, He's coming off of COVID. He's had a little bit of ups and downs this season, but overall looked pretty good. But, I mean, Judon has, like I said, 11 and a half sacks, and he's played against all kinds of offensive lines in this league and been able to do it. So I think this is a huge test for Spencer Brown, and if if he can come out with a really good game, it's going to make me feel really great about his future going forward. Um, but he's going to be tested in this game. Um, Van Noy, we know very well, right? He, he was with a long stay with the Patriots. He went over to Miami for a couple of years. Didn't really work out there. Um, and now he's back with the Patriots. Um, he adds another four sacks in two forced fumbles, as well as an interception. Um, I think whatever it is with this scheme and, the way the Patriots use Van Noy. Uh, He really, really fits with this defense, and he's a much better player with New England than than he was with Miami. And, you know, maybe that's a little bit to do with the pieces that are around him. Um, Whatever the case is, I mean, he's he's having a good season this year. Um, And then another guy that we know all too well, Dante Hightower, just really that leader of the defense. He's been with the Patriots forever, Um, just really knows the system, really makes smart plays, and he's always in the right position. And like I said, I feel like the front four of this defense really allows the linebackers to move freely and and make the plays that they're making. Um, So the linebacking core on this team is one that I'm I'm really worried about. Um, But overall, just a very good defense for the Patriots.